Happy Arvo. Hello. Thank you so much for joining me today, especially you, Clyde. Clyde sent in this video right here. Top Australian hits, hit songs of the 1980s. I'm super excited to watch this. I don't get to react to a lot of music on this channel because of copyright issues all the time and stuff like that. But I'm thinking these are short enough clips to where it's not going to get blocked or anything. Oh my god, this list is huge. This song might get blocked. We'll see. When they're listed down here, I think that means it might get blocked or something. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm excited regardless. Top Australian hit songs of the 1980s. A better decade for music than the current one, if I do dare to say so myself. Age of Reason. I never heard this. I'm curious if I uh, will recognize any of these songs. But that already sounded good. I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. I know you were right. How did I not know this was Australian? This is an iconic song. Okay, am I stupid? I'm I'm embarrassed now. Is ACDC from Australia? How could I have not known that? <laughs> oh my god, it is an Australian rock band. Oh boy. <laughs> that is bad that I didn't know that. Holy crap, that's amazing. Okay, I'm definitely going to know some of these songs. Oil. I've heard... Where have I heard this? I know this one. Be <laughs> I've not heard this one. Man, that sounded catchy. Never heard that one either. I just have to say I love the production of these songs. It sounds so much more real than music does today. Hmm, who did that sound like? It sounded like um, the police, kind of. Like over here in America, you know the, do you know the band The Police? Kind of reminded me of that vibe. I'm just looking. It was an English rock band, The Police. I like how people were a little more corny back in the day. You gotta be crazy to want a guy like me. <laughs> it was a little bit, I don't know, it felt like a less toxic time to be alive. Iconic. What's crazy is I didn't know these were Australian. Oh my god. The accent just doesn't really come through with the singing sometimes. That's an iconic song. Of course, of course. I should have known this would be here. I don't know the words because the Australian accent definitely comes through here. I don't even know what he's saying.
I love to have a beer with Duncan, cause Duncan's me, mate. Slim Dusty. Someone else requested a song by Slim Dusty. That's just a funny name to me, Slim Dusty. It's like Slim Shady. But the uh, the old country version. Yeah. It's like the opposite of Slim Shady. Slim Dusty. With Duncan. The hairstyles had definitely coincided with American trends here in the 1980s. That's cool. Yes, I should have known that was Australian. You can hear it now that I'm listening, but another great song. I haven't heard this one in forever, I feel like, but it is it is iconic. I feel like it, it's been in movies and stuff, too. Yeah. This reminds me of like, you know, the the stereotype of how all the, the people in high school and old movies look like they're 35 years old. Like if you watch Grease or something, <laughs> all the high schoolers look like they're 30 years old. That's this, right? Oh, yeah. Won't you take me to... That's Australian. My mind's blown. I'm gonna have a good time tonight. Rock and roll music gonna play all night. Rock and roll music gonna play all night. It's Kylie Min Kylie Minogue. She was pretty pro prolific on huh, the 1980s. Embarrassing, I didn't know they were Australian. Ice House was also huge though, but not over here in America really, huh? But I have I do recognize a couple of Madonna of Australia, Kylie Minogue, once again. Oh man, that sounded like a banger right there. I'm gonna write this one down just because I, I like the sound of it. I was only 19. That's what I'm talking about right there. And can you tell me, doctor, why I still can't get to sleep? Looks like Adam Sandler from The Wedding Singer right here. Men at work, of course. Once again, Kylie. Why is she talking French? You know, I didn't even know Rick Springfield was Australian. I'm questioning my whole freaking life, man. Out of the million times I've heard Jesse's girl, how have I not known it was Australian? You guys are huge in the entertainment industry, huh? Oh, like in Hollywood.
Who is that? Olivia Newton John. I don't think I know her. She looks iconic though. I can tell you she's an icon. I just don't even, I don't know her. These weird, like, stop-motion flipbook-looking editing they did back then for some of these videos is so strange. Highly. There it is again. <laughs> I don't know why, but this video made me laugh. Just hit original Sam. <laughs> no, I love the eighties. The original Sam. Between the sheets. Yes. Absolutely. Iconic. I didn't know the name of this song, Overkill. That's another great song. I'm writing that one down too. Cause how do you know the name of that freaking song? Do they even say that? Only brings oh, I do know Olivia Newton John. This is an iconic song. Physical. Physical. There was that weird stop motion, low frame rate thing again. Wow, this feels way older than the 80s. I like it. <laughs> Shut up your <laughs> what? Shut up you face. Shut up your face. I haven't recognized a few of these now in a row. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. Then that's Kylie Minogue. This song is like beyond iconic. You know, there's some of those songs that come out, and once they come out, it's like the world is forever changed. It's now on the world soundtrack for the rest of history. It's going to be played at pools and in the mall randomly forever. And this is one. Kylie, mm, how do you spell it? I, 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 I'm sure I'm pronouncing this wrong. Mino, Mino, Minog. And you dance now. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> Australia's Justin Bieber. <laughs> Bieber. <laughs> Australia's Justin Bieber. There's gonna be one less lonely girl. <laughs> How many women out there would have, would have done anything for this dude? Jason Donovan. I don't know. Interesting. It kind of sounded like um that one. What's her Janet Jackson song? You know, or no, it was a Michael Jackson song. What about us? What about us? <laughs> yeah, it feels like a TV show. Good. He sounds like a. He sounds like someone, and I, I don't know. That's what I'm trying to think of. Ice House Donovan. There are some names that just keep repeating themselves. Kylie. Oh, yeah. A minute work. They've only been on the list twice now, I think, but I've, I've known both those songs. With ACDC. I don't know that song. It looks pretty badass, though. <laughs> that gave me Billy Joel vibes. Olivia Newton-John. That's the other one that just keeps popping up. When your hotel room is your is that bedroom. It? Wow, that room. was so many. And your dining room. Yeah, that's it. Dang. That was so many. That was so much fun. So many great songs. And I, I'm, I'm actually just embarrassed <laughs> that I didn't know ACDC. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't know ACDC was freaking Australian. That's cringy. And Rick Springfield. That's pretty much, that's almost equally as cringy, but ACDC really just, that blows my mind. I have no, I have no words for myself. Well, I think that proved my statement correct earlier. A better decade for music than the current one. That was great. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.